We're given f of x and asked to find the derivative function, or f prime of x, and f prime of pi divided by six. Looking at the given function, notice how we have a quotient. So if we leave the function in this form, we'll have to apply the quotient rule given here. The other option is to write the trig functions in terms of sines and cosines and see if we can simplify this function. Let's go ahead and try to simplify it before deciding if we have to use the quotient rule. So in terms of sine and cosine, we can write this as f of x equals secant x is equal to one over cosine x. So in parentheses, we'd have one divided by cosine x plus two divided by tangent x, which is equal to sine x divided by cosine x. Now instead of dividing, let's multiply by the reciprocal. So we'd have the quantity one divided by cosine x plus two times the reciprocal of sine x over cosine x, which would be cosine x divided by sine x. And now we'll distribute here and here. When multiplying one over cosine x and cosine x over sine x, notice cosine x over cosine x would simplify to one, we'd be left with one over sine x, which equals cosecant x. And then for the second product, nothing simplifies. We have two times this fraction here, but cosine x divided by sine x is equal to cotangent x. So we have plus two cotangent x. So this helps us quite a bit because now we can find the derivative function without having to apply the quotient rule given here. F prime of x is equal to the derivative of cosecant x plus two times the derivative of cotangent x. Well, the derivative of cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x cotangent x And the derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant squared x. So we'd have two times negative cosecant squared x, or just minus two cosecant squared x. So this is the first part of the question. We just found the derivative function, and now we want to evaluate this at x equals pi divided by six, which would give us a slope with a tangent line at x equals pi over six. So f prime of pi over six would be equal to negative cosecant pi over six times cotangent pi over six minus two times cosecant squared of pi over six. To find these trig function values, Let's go ahead and use a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle since pi over six radians is equal to 30 degrees. So if this angle is 30 degrees and we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, we can label the short leg one, the hypotenuse two, and the long leg square root three. And therefore, cosecant of pi over six radians would be equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side, since cosecant is reciprocal of sine, which would be two divided by one or just two, and cotangent pi over six radians is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, cotangent is reciprocal of tangent, the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side would be square root three divided by one or square root three. So f prime of pi over six would be equal to negative cosecant pi over six is two times cotangent pi over six, which is square root three, minus two times cosecant squared pi over six, where cosecant pi over six is two, so this would be two squared. So we have negative two square root three minus, this would be four times two, so minus eight. So this would give us the slope of the tangent line at x equals pi over six. Let's also get a decimal approximation for this to three decimal places. Negative two times square root three minus eight. Rounding to three decimal places, this would be approximately negative 11.464.
Let's take a look at the graph of the function and locate the point when x equals pi over six and see if the slope of the tangent line does look like it's approximately negative 11.464. So here's the graph of our function. Here's the point on the function where x is equal to pi over six radians. The red line is a tangent line at that point and since f prime of pi over six was approximately negative 11.464, this would be the slope of this red tangent line. It would also be the instantaneous rate of change of the function at x equals pi over six. And notice since it is negative, the function is also decreasing at that point. I hope you found this helpful.